Well, it's three out of three shipping lanes done for this passage. No one caused any drama. Only saw one shipping container. Shipping the uh, container ship. Probably our fastest to sail time. I think we only motored for about three minutes and we're already drifting along it. Well, not fast, but we're getting towards where we need to go. You might notice we're sailing with the first reef in. Uh, that unfortunately is because even after I measured things the other day, we still ended up with reefing lines that are too short. So, that's the most main we can put out right now. And is that the first reef? Well, normally we're running away from really anchorages, distiller anchorages. This time we seem to have run from a still anchorage to a really anchorage for the advantage of access to town and a public beach that we can go walk around on and hopefully uh, fresh water to fill up our tanks as well. So the balance isn't too bad right now. Um, I definitely will say that the, the fact that we have a bunch of chain to put down now um, really helps with the helps dampen the bounce on the bow. And now that we're anchored and here and safe, it's my job to take care of the, the deck. All the all the line spaghetti, all the sails are, are haphazardly tied about. Our main is like falling off the boom. So my job to put the girl back together. adventure here in our new little anchorage is to go and try and find water. that's near Friday Harbor and now one of my friends who lives in town is gonna come give us a ride in. Um, it's a really sweet anchorage. The wind was howling last night and we were totally, totally still. Barely any breeze at the boat, but you could hear it in the trees on the bluff above us, so. Good, uh, good anchoring spot. And then there's a nice little dock to, to row into. <laughs> Well, we 
are still enjoying the San Juans, but it is cold. Yesterday, after I went to town, I actually came back and just curled up in a blanket for the rest of the day. It's, it's so cold right now. It's like, it's in the 60s, but the wind is blowing, and we're out on the water, and this is water that's a little bit colder than even the rest of the sound because it's just rolling straight in off the Pacific. So it's beautiful, but we've been we've been hanging out inside a lot. Um, so today I donned all of my foul weather gear. I basically look like we're about to go sail through some through some nastiness, uh, and this is all just to go to shore to mark out our uh, our mainsail. So we have two mainsails on the boat. One is on the boom right now, and um, it's the it's the one that we sail with all the time. But it is wearing out. Um, it doesn't have the best sail shape anymore, uh, where the staves um, go into the back of the sail. Uh, they kind of bend at weird angles now when we're going upwind. So we have a second mainsail that's in really spectacular condition. Uh, but it doesn't have sail slugs on it. So we have on our boom, or on our mast rather right here, uh, a uh, what I call a fluted, or I think is also called a foiled um, uh, system to, to run sail slugs up and down the, the mast. Um, so what our current sail has on it is uh, plastic slugs that fit in that track. It also has, you can see this uh, thick rope, and that will actually fit in the track. Now, the advantage to the sail slugs, as you can see right now with the sail down, all of the sail slugs back there, back in here, uh, help hold the sail to the mast so that it's not just running all over the deck. The other mainsail uh, doesn't have sail slugs on it, so before we left Seattle, I bought some sail slugs, and uh, and have the webbing and the thread to sew them on. I just need to get them sewed on. So we're gonna go row over shore and mark out where the slugs need to go on the sails so then we can come back and, uh, and sew them on. The first thing we have to do though is get the mainsail out. So because we don't use it very often, it's at the bottom of the sail locker underneath the cockpit sole. That's my be interesting. Crazy party and we get up to... 